Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a fairly basic uh, video about colour, uh, but it is important for a video that I'm going to do afterwards, which is about the colour mixture, which is a fairly complex but useful tool. So let's start off right from the beginning. Every single pixel on the display has got three values associated. It one red, second is green, third is blue, and each of those can have the value between 0 and 255 when you've got 8-bit colour because you've got 8 bits, 2 to the power of 8 is 256 and because you include 0 you can only go as far as 255. And so any combination of those, every pixel, red, green and blue, any combination. So uh, that's what we've got here. Also if you turn them all up and down. When the red, green and blue is zero, you get black. When red, green and blue are the same and at their maximum, you've got white. Now where it's, this is where it gets interesting. So if I get to now, I've got a mixture of colours. I've got red is 200, green is 50, blue is 50 in this one, and so on, the slight variations between the green and blue, and it looks red, green and blue, doesn't it? Just not quite as bright as red, green and blue on the others. And this is because when red is dominant, when one colour is dominant, you see, your eyes see that colour, even though there are other colours in there. So you'd look at that, you wouldn't think there's red in it, but there is. And there's blue as well. And this is about the way that colours work together. If I drag from here downwards, you can see underneath there that little black band there it shows you R equals 200, G 50, B 50. So that is the colour picker up here <clears throat> that shows us what those colours are. What I'm going to do now is, is actually select one of them. Let's open this up, just select the red, and I can change the colours on that. So the colours up here, these sliders show what those colours are. And so it's 200 on the red, 50 on the green and blue. If I bring, take the red up, it goes a bit redder, but it doesn't go as red as the red above, even though it's 255, because the green and blue are kind of conspiring together to hold that back a bit. And if you move these up, you would see, even though they're moving up together, the red is getting lighter. So that's the way you get a right light red with the red turned all the way up. That's what lightness is, is these coming up together. So we put those down to about where they were before. And if you come down from this one, it red gets darker. Yeah. So it's the way things work together. And the key point in this is that it's important within something that looks red, the reddish parts like skin and so on, on your image have got green and blue in them as well. And if you understand how that works, you can do some interesting things. And that's what the colour mixer tool helps you do. Just one more thing on this, which is here we've got red, green and blue off 50, which means you get a grey. Red, green and blue are 200. You also get a grey. Anywhere where red, green and blue are the same, you always get a grey. So I can go back to this image here bring that red down to the same as the green and blue, and I get a grey. And if I move them up somewhere, so they're all about the same, it'll still be a grey, because they're together. They, they end up, see, they're all very close, 145-ish, it looks grey. There's no one dominant colour. Pull one colour up, and look, it looks green, because the green has been pushed ahead, even though the others are are kind of contributing to that colour. Okay, one more thing I'm just going to show in this video, which kind of helps, is this is the red parts of an image. Let's show you the final image here. There we go. So that is where there is white in the area, or it's sort of white, where it's more red as opposed to black. You're going to get the red in the image. So you can see there's a lot of red there in the sky. And it's not surprising because sky is a lot of white in the sky and white's got a lot of red in it. This one's got blue and this one's green. So though they look similar, they're subtly different. 
But what we can do here is to drag this through the magic of what's called blend modes on top of that. So that's combining. See the word it'll add up there? That's because it's adding the pixels there. And here if I bring in the green, and when it lands there, there we go. There's that picture which is exactly the same as the picture down there. So red, green and blue together make up the image and it's only by the amount of red and amount of green and the amount of blue in it that you make all the other colours. Okay, that's it for this video. The next video I'm going to get into using and showing the more detail step by step of how the colour mixer works. Thank you very much for watching.